Books come in many sizes. Some are quite large and thin. Others are quite thick relative to their overall size. Some have hard covers and others do not. No matter how the book is configured, we can design a cover to fit it by using the method we will show you today. Let's begin by showing you how to make a book cover for this book I have here now. It's a rather normal sized book. It's uh, about six inches by eight and a half inches by about an inch thick and it's got a hard cover. So to start we will hold the book as you see me here and we'll put it on this line that I've drawn on this uh, this is a piece of uh, what we call cardstock it's uh, or poster board you can get it at almost any office supply or variety store and I've drawn a line right down the middle now I'll set my book right on the, the middle line as you see the here now I'll, I'll roll the book as you see me here when I say roll it I want to roll it for two reasons one I want to make sure I'm lined up and two as I roll it I'm taking up for the thickness of the book and the corners now, now I will take a pencil I will draw a line around the edge of the book cover. And now that we've got that done, there are a few things we can do. Uh, number one, we'll use a ruler and we have to consider a few things here. I have given you a little closer look here now to design the outside cover for this book we need to add some uh, dimensions so that it will fit properly. Now, things to consider are lacing or stitching. Now, I normally like to use about a quarter of an inch for the lacing or stitching. Now, we also have to consider the thickness of the cover, and that's roughly an eighth of an inch. And also, back here, where the cover will go around the end of the book. There are two corners, and so we need to add the thickness of the, the leather there for those, I guess I'll call them folds, where they go around the corner. So we need to add about one half of an inch to the edge of our book cover. Now after we have it marked, we can take a ruler and draw a line Now we also need to add to the top and the bottom and in this case we'll need to add the quarter inch for the lacing and another eighth of an inch for the thickness of the book cover. So basically we're going to have to add three eighths of an inch to both the top and the bottom. And we will draw a line just like we did for the end. I will do the same thing on the top. <clears throat> now I have uh, brought in my cutting board and with a good sharp knife I will use my straight edge and I will cut the outside border here of, of our book cover. Now at this point, I'm only cutting half of it.
And now you're going to see why we only drew one half the pattern. At this time, we can fold it over and with our pencil, we'll mark the other half of the book cover. Now all we have to do is take our straight edge and cut these lines as well. Next we will design for the pocket. There will be two pockets, one on each side so that when we're ready we can slip our book in. And uh, to do that we will just sit our book on the center as we did before and draw a light line. Now we know about where the fold is going to be and we need our pocket to come about two-thirds or three-quarters of the way up to where the fold is. So this would be roughly right here. I'll take my ruler and we should make that at about five inches. So we'll make a mark there at five inches mark down here at five inches and we will draw a line connecting those two points. Now, this will be the pattern for our pocket. It is now time to check our pattern. We'll do that before we cut leather to uh, make sure that everything is going to fit. Keeping in mind now we need at least a quarter inch around the outside as of the covers for our stitching. And we'll roll our pattern over and check it to make sure. And it looks like everything's gonna fit fine. You always do that because it's a lot less expensive to cut cardboard than it is to cut leather. It is now time to cut leather. I will take a scratch all and mark around the outside of this leather piece. I'm using a piece of uh, four to five ounce vegetable tan leather for my outside. I'm sure you remember the mark we put on our pattern for the pockets. Uh, with a straight edge cut on the leather as I have here, I can take my, my awl and mark around the three sides. I will cut two of these pockets. I am cutting these pockets out of the same leather, the four to five ounce vegetable tan, as I did the outside. Actually, you can make this out of a less expensive leather if you want. It's up to you. And here are the parts we need for our book cover. Of course, we got the outside piece. We got the two pockets. And I've cut another piece the same size as the pockets that we'll use for a lining in the center. At this time, uh, it's time to do the tooling if you're going to do any tooling. We have uh, completed all of our parts now. We have tooled them and finished them, so it's now time to start the assembly. The first thing we need to do is attach our lining piece to the center of the outside piece and I have drawn a few lines here so that I can locate it. We will apply cement to both the back of the outside piece. I have allowed my contact cement to dry until it's gotten tacky and now I will very carefully place my lining piece where I've made my marks. and. Just rub it down now if need be at this time we can take the shears and trim any excess from the top or bottom. 
We will now cement the pockets in place, as you can see here, one on each side, and we will cement them on the outer edges only. We will not cement the part here because this is where the book covers will go in. So we will now use the contact cement again and we'll do the we'll cement uh, just about an eighth of an inch. And we'll do that on the ends and the bottom only. We will also apply cement to the edges on the outside piece, as you can see me doing here. My cement has set up, so now I'm going to uh, cement the pockets in place. It's just a matter of lining them up now and making sure you get it right because uh, with this contact cement, it's, it's difficult to remove it once you put it in place. Now we'll do the same thing to the other pocket. It is now time to decide how we're going to put it together. I we could either stitch it or lace it. Now, I have decided to lace it with a double loop stitch. So the first thing I'll do is cut the four corners off as you see me doing here. And then I will take my wing divider, make a guideline for my punching. I have completed the lacing of uh, the book cover. And now it's just a matter of turning the leaves back on the book and inserting them into the, the pockets as you see me doing here. As you can see, I have inserted the covers of the book into the pockets on our book cover and now it's just a matter of folding it over and the book cover is ready for you to use.